Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast for me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master propaganda here of Psych Defender of the Fatherland, off here to a glorious 1v1 on Mill Road in the north of this putt putt out of the vile. Fun here for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, here with the first SS Panzer Division with encirclement featuring ambush training, stormtroopers, break supply line, breakthrough, and close the pocket. With infantry, Panterfaust, and machine gun bullets, then the south of this Ferric, funding for America, freedom, democracy. Here with the 5th Armored Division with recon support, mechanized and airborne. Gunner DMD Fortress, that for Pat Pat, double out support for Ferric, and we're off to the race here. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, champions, and heroes, one and all. They supported. Now they continue to support for the worth it certainly keeps me going with this so big thanks to all those other people can join the ranks by, by pledging on patreon or they can donate via paypal finally commenting liking saying subscribing all that stuff helps me out too now then circlement definitely one of my personal favorites and commanders definitely a bit tricky to use but certainly not fun if you can get it to go off really well as it has i think some fairly good abilities because some breakthrough basically allows your vehicles to grab points but also move faster and fire fast it's like kind of like old blitzkrieg from companies one and we got Ferric Hill Mechanized featuring Mechanized Groups, 76 Militia Shermans, Mortar Half Tracks, Cavalry Riflemen, and Combined Arms. If we got Rav Squad Trampling with Gundias here, let's say the distance could be close to the Fader Swift, but Rav Squad, at which point up close, they do enjoy a significant advantage over the Gundias. And they can see they're immediately killing poor Otto, forcing the rest of the squad to retreat as they just can't match Rav Squad at close ranges. In the center, machine moving forward here for Pat Pat. In the south, we got the Pioneers bringing in ahead there as well. Up north, Gunnies Court, there's just still retreating. Second one almost done. Ferric here with a fairly fast lieutenant. Going in pretty aggressively here versus Pat Pat. Might see a dodge truck as well then. So I'm pumping seized here by Pat Pat and the first SS Panzer Division. Formed up from some of Hitler's initial bodyguard units. In fact, a lot of them would end up in some way turned in, being turned into combat units throughout the war. Little fun side note there. Here's the Raft Court, then machine setting up as well there. No sign of anything further here, of course, going on. Raft Court moving about there. Probably going to go for the third committee squad here, and there we go. Go pump to the building. Popping then out of the building. Got the point here. Heading off to the committee squad in the south here. Pioneers class with the Raft Court there. Third Gunnery Squad halfway done. Then walk up position active Pat Pat Matt to get around the center here. One mistake that could allow Ferric to rush in with the Ralph Squad and then overwhelm Pat Pat here. So definitely dangerous in there. Go Ralph Squad right past the Pioneers here. I don't think. Oh, he has kind of realized it's good, good. But that, of course, leaves the flank exposed to the other Ralph Squad there. So again, bit of a tough spot to get the machine going in here versus Ferric. We got the Lieutenant out. They also got the Third Gunnery Squad. Of course, now Ferric can just add in more stuff of what he wants to. Fast fifth cal. Again, Dodge Truck could be an option. Maybe setting up for the cavalry rifleman. I mean, there's definitely options here for Ferric versus Pat Pat. We'll have to see. Pat Pat, meanwhile, here taking up there. North of here since the Grand Points. Holding up here. I think we call him Alsa because calling him Pat Pat all the time gets a bit weird. Got the Southern Pointy Ralph Scott falling back there. As Gunny is falling back in the center of the channel, creeping up here for Ferric versus Alsa. Gunny saying South is going to there. And we do get a fast M20 for Ferric. Looking to. Go for some heavy motorized tactics here versus Alsa. That's going to put the German play a bit in the defense. We've got Volify against the Grenadiers. He, he's really just hitting all those buttons. And you can even like go on, call in a cavalry after squad there, but perhaps decide not to. I'm just going to wait a bit here. You could also go for 50 cal. We'll have to see what Ferric does here, but there's certainly quite a few things you could go for. Meanwhile, in the center, you have force there for Ferric. Still no units being called in there. And there we go, we do get the Cavalry Rifleman, and I imagine we're looking at the Thompson upgrade there. In the south, they mean when we got Alza pushing forward to the Pioneers, Rav Gunnies is going to Rav Squad there. Of North, they catching the Gunnies in the bad spot, pushing in the back, M20 almost done. Thompson's on the way there, back of base here, the tech is done, but there's nothing further happening here for the German player. Lieutenant pushed back up the M42 there. Could consider adding some ambush camouflage to his air machine and team for example, that could be a good addition there. MD42 teams, in my opinion, tend to benefit quite a bit for, from ambush camouflage. Ralph's coming up in flank again, looking to exploit any gaps in outside the Ralph's flank. But there you go, the M20 rise. Firing its fifth cal there into the side here of Alsa's forces. And he's already taking loss there from the fifth cal. we got the cal rifling in there. Could exploit any attempt to hit the M20 there with a panther faust. Looking a bit dangerous in mean, right now. Cavalry rifle flank here alongside the M20 could cause heavy damage here to Alsa the Ralph. And we do get a retreat here. The M20 races forward there. Propelled forwards by freedom, democracy, and corporate interests. Note the M20 was based off the 
and that Greyhound was basically just the Greyhound with the turret removed. They were primarily used for supporting tank destroy units by acting as spotters alongside Geeps. Around the center there, pushing forwards here. We've got the Tutor on the way for outside of the Vile, but until then he's a bit on the defensive here. As Ferex armored car relentlessly hounds him and harries, harries his every move. North here is and pushed back by the Gunnadier Squad here. Ambush camera flash up there. Thumbs up to that. Bravo Squad's also been... Oh, Gunnadier Squad's been benefit from it. Also been upgraded with light machine guns. In particular, they become quite good. None of the MD-42, though. But the tutors right around the corner here for Alza and the first SS Panzer Division. The center Rifle Squad holding up in the center here. Oh, Cavalry Rifle Squad. Trying to their racing in. Engaging the MD-42 in the open. Again, very aggressive play here with it. We'll have to see if he actually done any mines. But there you go. Armor car going for the M20. He needs to get some support in there for it fast. Otherwise, we risk losing. Got the car rifling in the note. The way he's moving it pretty much prohibits the armored car from easily risking and risk getting hit by an anti tank satchel. But the MD42 makes it hard for him to move the cavalry rifle to further threaten it. So he can't maintain the position for long and he has to fall back fully here, including with the M20. Because I imagine here, Arsa is just going to rush straight after it here with his 2 to 2. Come east, move south, let's see. Pioneer setting out. Stuart Light Tank here for Ferret. Going for a fairly heavy light vehicle approach here versus the Germans, the Krauts, the Nazis. Armored car flying back. They're close to veterans. He won. Pioneer's pushing forwards there. Could consider calling in a Stormtrooper Storm squad or a Panzer Gunner squad, though. I think when incoming Stuart Light Tank, well, Pack 40 would be a good idea, but there it goes. Stormtroopers out in a pinch. He can equip them with a Panzer Shred. Not typically what you want to do, but in a pinch, you can do it. Though in most cases, if you really want Panzer Shrek, you're probably better off just going for a Panzer and then just water equipment with Panzer Shrek. But I imagine we're seeing a pack fully up counter the Stuart Light Tank. But there you go. Good drive here for the car upon there, leaving Ferret Bay. It's resource lines in a bit of disarray. The machine that being assailed here by the M20 from the front. They grab squatting up the flank here. Storms was creeping about here. Hoping to cat well, except for Archer there for some reason. Apparently needs to show off. So, should be a bit careful there with the infantry of Ferret because the storm's been quickly being a close deal with some heavy damage with the MP40. Southern Pontiac sees for the Grenadiers. Racing forwards, they're going straight for the Stormtroopers. Let's do a light chain wing in there as well. Got the Grenadiers with the Raft Squad there. Bad care trip reinforcing healing. He's been forced there. Going to note he even uses the sprint ability, which is part here of the ambush training to. Quickly move into them, Pantafast to a light tank. Thumbs up there to Alza. Storms are running out there. But yeah, imagine next we're seeing a pack 40 for Alza. But again, he could surprise us with a Panzer and be escort and Panzer Sex, I suppose. I mean, at this point, I mean, everything's possible. Everything's possible here. I mean, hell with ambush camouflage, we could even do some sneaky stuff there with the Panzer Jaegers. Lieutenant Flank up behind the armored car could be a problem there for Alza. Meanwhile, can leave raising forwards here through the south. North another skirmish, you can see the guns put back the rap squad, there we go, pack 40 for Alza. Ultimately what I'd expected, but you know, he's already gone for encirclement, so who knows. And there goes against Quantum Retreat for the cavalry rifle again, the Thompson, the Grease Guns, plus the Lieutenant of course has another Thompson, could spell doom here for the Gunnadiers. They're already down to just two men, they're low on health, and the Americans also blocking the retreat path there, and there you go, one man down, one lives. Fifth Cal filling up her ferry, Gunnadiers setting up, light machines on the way there. Stormtroopers there, not really going to do much there so far with their MP40s. They're Schmeissers, as they were colloquially known, but Schmeisser really had nothing to do with the MP40. Fun fact, he doesn't much to do with most other German submachines, of course, including the MP18, but the MP40 itself, really nothing. Fun fact. Stood light tank in the center here. He's going for double 50 cals. That's an interesting choice there. I think a mortar and a 50 cal would be a bit of a better choice here for Ferric, personally. Maybe like another cavalry rifle squad. But I, don't know. I mean, it's not like the 50 cals are bad there, but if you sort of consider like his real tactical approach so far, I'm not entirely sure he wants double 50 cals. Perhaps. But, anyways, still a light tank here with the. So far, no kills there on the outside of the vial and his men. That's a bit lucky there for the Germans. But of course, they can always quickly change. 20 meanwhile there. Has it laid down any mines? I don't think so. I mean, if you could lay down some, uh, some mines here versus Arsa the Vile's Force, I mean, that could come in handy down the road here for Ferric. But again, 
Well, no, it does. Oh, back to, never mind, he has laid down mines. Thumbs up, man. Fifth guy to the right, there you go. Armor pistol rounds being loaded up. Got Gunny's ambushing the reactions. One kill of Action Drone Troop. There you go. Pack forward in the flank. His Stormtroops hunting out there. So far, not really leveraging the Stormtroopers that heavily. Though, of course, they're certainly a bit tricky at the moment. And we got Incendium Pizzeria being released on the 50 cal. There you go. Spreading forward to the Stormtroopers. Being used to this fact, they're slightly camouflaged for a while there. Even out of cover there. And there you go. Then combined with the Incendium Pizzeria. Uh, ambushes the machine gun. They're pushing the back there. Sneaky assault here out of sight, but does have to retreat in the face of an American as counter assault that through the center. But of course, they're going to running into the MD 42, though we just need to reload, so that could get a bit awkward. But there you go, does unlock the ambush bonus again. That has to retreat, I think, in the end. There's just too many Americans, and they're just bypassing the Arc of Fire. And the Southeast Troop Racing Trick for the armored car. Pack 4 needs to set up the Gunny Squad holding the flank here. Light machines on the way there. Pioneers moving forward here. It is a violent assault here, affair against Al the Vile. Charging through there for freedom and democracy, completely discombobulating Alsa the Val's frontline defense. There you go, Pantafar, so on the M20 utility car here. Lieutenant races for to the bazooka in hand. Gunny is down to two men, armor car trying to do what it can here for Deutschland, but it goes down for a bazooka shot. Back here, nothing further stretch behind for Alsa, no tech, no additional vehicles, no additional troops. Yes, he wants a tech, but he's under so much pressure from Ferric, he can't quite easily sort of get it down. The South Eagle needs the 5th Cal, almost swapping out the Reasons are trying to move in there to draw the attention away from the 5th Cal, but Alsace Grenadiers having none of it. And there you go, wipes the 5th Cal there. Stinging blow there to Ferric. Two folks in the car point here. Alsace slaps him down. And the Storms just slaps off those weapons as well there. We could actually grab the 5th Cal and turn against uh, the Americans. That's certainly be a bit uncomfortable for Ferric. Nothing further going on there. Stuart light M20 they're being fixed up. Tech there for Alsar. Got the fifth guy there crewed by some plucky pioneers. Pantherfast and Stuart light tank. Bit of munitions float here. And another 50 cal. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I feel like at this point you should either take up or get for some weapon racks or some other stuff there. Again, I am not saying the fifth cals are bad, not one bit. But I think they may not, you know, currently, in the current set of circumstances, be the optimal choice to go for a third 50 cal after handing over one to the Germans already. I feel like there's some other avenues here that uh, Ferry could explore. Okay, cancels it for a mortar attack. Interesting choice there. I mean, it's a mortar and it's a motorized one or half attack one mechanized technically there. So definitely not a bad choice. But again, apart from it, also like this is move from the way though. Well handled, the mortar half attack is quite powerful in part because. It has a lot of stuff it can do. Regular barrages, smoke barrages, white phosphorus barrages, heavy barrages with blade fuse. Panzer Vars then stood light tank. So yeah, that could be a bit of a problem there for outside the Val, depending how well Fair can make good use of it. North Heat can is routed. The ambush not quite there uh, working out well. It's not too expensive in terms of fuel. So it's not a huge delay there to his armor plans either. That said, Alsa will be able to rush out of armor. We'll have to go for Stug, Panther 4, Oswind. Stug would certainly be the more immediate choice for helping deal with the Stuart and the M20 faster. Panther 4 course be the sort of nice intermediate choice here. Smoke being deployed there. Thumbs up to Beric. Good use of smoke. Could he be lining up for a smoke push for himself, maybe? He's so far creeping out. He's definitely making use of the storms in a much more sneaky manner than most players. Slightly reminiscent of Price, I think. But anyway, he's catching the fifth car there. And there we go, doing some lot of damage. He could have tried for the tactical advance here, but I guess he's concerned about other sources then wiping out the stormtroopers. Still a nice flank there. Couldn't go for the Panther Fort. And there we go. Panzer Kampfang there for Alsa. In the south here, Americans gobbling up the south. And in the north, similarly. No minesweepers there. So again, he could, like, Theoretically, hit that M6 anti tank mine, and has he let up any more? I think the answer to that is no. Despite floating a lot of munitions, like, you know, maybe he's planning something else with the munitions, but I would definitely recommend a few more mines. More smoke here. Very consistent use of the smoke there. Thumbs up to Ferric. Boats White Phosphorus are now deploying as well there. Really didn't go there, the Germans. And messing with their stuff there. Panther Four almost down there for Alsa and the first SS Panzer Division. 
And the former stand up north, we got the cab right and grabbing the point there. Mortifying the Gunnadiers. Ten charging the Gunnadiers there. Pantherfall setting out. They should probably add a pinlight machine to it as soon as possible. Ten there, riding the Gunnadiers in the southeast. Storms are turning out still. Five kills, so close veterans, one up north here. Troops rounded by the Pantherfall, of course, now Ferg is away. His opponent's got a tank, and, well, he's got a steward and a bazooka. Yeah, so there you go. We've got tech on the way there for Ferric finding. They have to consider some weapon racks just to add some more bazookas. Or oh, again, hope his opponent hits that one anti-tank mine he laid down. This is only, I think, the spot where Ferric would have benefited a lot more from laying down more mines ahead of time. Because we can catch that panther on one of those mines, it's going to be a really bad time for Alsa and the Germans. Quiet here. Grab this on the point of the Grenadier. Got the M25 going towards the centre by the looks of it. In fact, the M22 is rushing further north here. Pack 40 to this rescue. Fifth coming in as well. Then note the ambush camouflage on it. Definitely great on the fifth cow, by the way. And there you go. Weapon racks, bazooka teams. Unleashing a storm of rockets and the Panda 4 doing some damage to the fifth cup, setting up to deal with the infantry. Try and deal with the Panda 4. That should be quickly suppressed then. There we go. Great hit from the Panda 4, and that's a full retreat there from Ferric. Unable to breach the Panda 4's hull sufficiently to push it back. Got the major quick bazooka as well. That is a lot of bazookas. We've got bars out now here for Ferric. Could have gone for some of these things much sooner, at least the bars. And that's that. And his rabbit almost swapped out in fact he ran straight into the cavalry rifleman. That is definitely not what you'd be running into. Fifth coming on demon troops up close. Could fight. The gun is trying to finish off with the fifth cup, but this focuses on one right in front of it. Panda 4 there. Further falling back. Here's the major bazooka team. And there go flank it, but they're running into the stormtroops who quickly dispatch the Americans with utmost haste. Fifth cow there dealing with the Americans. Plus the MD4 to the halting ferret. Sent assault in support for the fifth cow. And the M20 simply arrives from too late. Now the Panther 4 is counterattacking here with the bazooka teams routed. That's it. Ferret's can closely be calling the Sherman. Well, the 76 mm Sherman, that is. He can already call in the regular Sherman, and you should be able to. He can call in the 76 as well now. And there we go. 76 mm Sherman there for Ferric. Freedom and democracy. Far up north there. Pioneers going from the northern point there. Need to fix up that Panzerkampfwagen. Back here. Gunnies could also advance there for Oza. Got the Bazooka teams on the move again here for Ferric. Up north here. Pioneers right over the M20. Near Aesel on that one. And still just one mine. Car phone being hit again. We'll have to see what falls up next here for Alsa. Probably another Panda 4. We'll have to see though, maybe the 76 mm Sherman convinces him to go for the Stug instead. Push for the car phone there, right into the Bazooka team here. Well, a Bazooka guy. That's less of a team. White Foss being deployed, will disrupt again Alsa's positions here. Nice and efficient. Thumbs up to Ferric. Meanwhile, got storms with him in the midst of a lot of Americans with bars. Not the best position to ambush from, to be honest. And that is a quick retreat there from our house. Stormtroopers. More tough tech shot move there. And in the 50 car there in the center of 14 push back. They're ultimately unable to maintain the position as Ferric is unleashing all minds of nasty firepower. There goes 76 mm Gem catching the Panda 4. Shot bounces, but it does cause Al Sahi to commit to the Stug instead of just holding out for another Panda 4. In the south, cavalry up near dispatch and the gun is there. More traffic will move a bit closer, I think, to support the frontline troops a bit better and unleash its barrage abilities more actively and aggressively here versus the Germans. But there you go, good shot from the mortar. M20 rushing in, but there you go, gonna get panther fast here by Alsa's gonna dealer. Stuk halfway down there, you go pack 40, will finish off the ace level, but Ferric here definitely committed a tactical error. He does pop smoke, which could give him a chance. There you go, meanwhile, panther force getting flanked. He again went for deep flank with the Zuga teams. I completely missed that, and so did Alsa. He's almost got the panther four, but the major's getting met with lethal fire. And there you go, wipe the pack forward, the major's down. He loses the cabin rifleman too. My god, that as I think was a really bad call here by Ferric. Yikes! I mean, sure, losing the mage is sort of can happen, but there was absolutely no reason to try and crew that pack 40 with those cavalry riflemen on those circumstances. 
That ended up working out fairly well there for House. So that's like, you know, really a good part there for Ferrix lead. And like some of his best units just completely gone. That's the Cavalry Rifleman. He could have caused now grab the pack 40, but still, I think, ended up being a uh, bit more painful than it was necessarily worth it. In fact, he might lose the Sherman here to the Storm Gershuts. Storm rushing forwards here. Machine going in there, Stu. Uh, heavily down there goes Storm to be gating up close. Going for the pack crew here, the MP 40s. Gunning them down in cold blood. Stewart, more tapping to cover. They go deploying smoke to try and cover the retreat here, but it's not enough time to deploy it. Out of the Vile mercilessly pushes forwards for Germany. Back here, Pantafor being repaired. Ferrick needs to replace his losses. Schnell. I mean, it did do some damage, but again, he ended up making, I think, some rather questionable trades in the process. At least he didn't lose any of the tanks, I think, at that point. That would have been really terrible for him, but that could have gone a lot better. Still, I really like that flank to an extent. It's just, you know, what happened afterwards was less good. Got the trend going straight for it. Oh, it actually survived, though. That's something. Kind of written off at that point, to be honest. Maybe Fairy Cat, too. Hey guys, we're back! Oh, you're alive! Right! Hey! Great! Yeah, yeah! Quickly! Hide the posters! Posters? N nothing! Stugling forts. Straight to the Ganese here. Full ambush here on the lieutenant. Immediately drops Lewis like a sack of potatoes. From Idaho. North, we got a student being forced there for Ferric. Oh, they need to cover that, Stu. Student on the flank here. Come in the Stu to deal with that. Pantwell's good to go as well there for Alza and the first SS. In the south, the Kalanese could transfer forward. Got White Fossil to try and mess up with the position in the south there. But in the center is where things get a bit more heated up here between Alza and Ferric. Stu has received Veterans 1, fact, it's close to Veterans 2 here. But there you go, Bazooka team up on the pant for again. Then the easier fit MP4 to in trouble. Pip cut unleashing hell more tough could deploy some regular barrages, maybe. Nope. Never mind. Grayson's almost wiped out here, meanwhile. Definitely need to cover not to extend those. It would be quite expensive for Ferrick to lose another Bazooka team. So swiftly, meanwhile, got another 76 North Sherman here. For Ferrick and the Americans versus Alsa. Sherman Forts. For freedom. Good shot on the Panther 4. They're pushing down to half health, half theta, that's need two on that one. Back catch in forcing healing. Another Panther 4 there for Alza. Looks like we're there we go. Almost losing the Panther 4 to the Shem, which you got Vetsing 2 1. Need to repair that though. You've got the shooting in the looking to maybe take out that Sherman. We've got the steward, the M20 blocking that, at least maybe blocking it. There we go. Quick shell shot there, or stun shot, whatever. Mortify there. Sherman's still repairs. Got some smoke being deployed here. Thumbs up there, Ferry's been, I think, fairly consistent uses of smoke. But there you go. Stu dying forwards again, no. Really awkward call there for Alza in the end. Almost loses him to the Stug. Right as he's about to hit Vetsny 2 of that. But there you go. Second Pantafor ready for Alza and the Germans. First Pantafor they're receiving critical repairs. Ferris got his second Sherman ready, even as the first one is in heavy need of repairs. Panzer Fee on the way. Lieutenant Wing forwards. Shot five. And the fifth cut there, Marty Trade for Stuart Alt Rushing Force. There's no smoke deployed at all here before this assault. That seems a bit questionable. Of course, from the Stuart there, Bazooka team moving in. Stuart about to go kaput. If he doesn't get out, they're fast. Mingle troops moving forward, but they're being met with intense firepower from the Panther Force as well. They're Sherm, they're heavy fit from the pack forward, but there you go. Pack crew dead. I feel like you could have waited for the second Sherm before rushing in like that. But oh well. Stuart is kaput. A stinging blow there to Germany. You've got the other Sherm there moving in now. As the fifth gather part's coming. Five rears, it's almost wiped out. Panther Force there. And. Please don't tell me he's going to try and grab that pack fort again when the squad's about to get wiped out. There you go, looks like he doesn't. Anti-tank rough grenade though. Waiting to risk it with the Shermans it seems. 
They may just need to destroy the pack and deny it to Alza and Deutschland. There we go. First shot. We got the gun. the fifth coming forwards. Another fifth cal for Ferric. Again, he seems uh, fairly focused on those 50 cals. Part of me thinks another cavalry rifle scope would be, I think, a good addition here for him. Well. There you go, destroy the fifth cal. We got ourselves Panther on the move there. Trendy Bowie is still alive. Go, better two gained on the Sherman. First one there fixed that once more. One thing here, Alsa or Ferric, I mean, could consider actually popping up in Trundle Crew, replacing it with the Sherman Crew to that one, get that one more experience as well. That way, he can then possibly have two tanks with the Radio Net Act together, at which point they can become, I think, a fairly formidable tank force here versus Alsa. But so far, it seems like Ferric is not considering that one at all, which is, I imagine, to Alsa's benefit. Sherman there, rolling head once more for freedom. And for good to go. Another Stug for Hausa. Thumbs up. More Bazooka fire there, going to move forward. Sherman there, fine way. And there you go, the Sherman move there. Bazooka team there, caught in a bad spot with the Panther 4. Attempt to flank here again. I do like he's sort of fairly consistently trying to flank here Ausa, even though he doesn't always successfully pull it off. He's at least making the attempt. Which can't be said for all players. Fifth coming with grab points up north here. Center grab back here by Ausa. At least somewhat Stumka shoots almost done. And he's being mauled out in the opening by Ferg's Panzer Waffe. Tank force. Close wiping out the gun of the escort here. Really close call. More smoke being deployed here by Ferrick. Again, really consistent use of smoke. Two thumbs up. That's really something to learn from. If he'd just been a bit more consistent at times with some of his pushes to coordinate with smoke, that would have been beaten even better. But at least he's making fairly consistent use of it overall. Stumke should bring out there. Panther 4 halfway to the east level. That could get dangerous there for Ferret. They admittedly so could an ace Sherman also for Alzar. Still feel like you could lay down some mines, or at least switch out the cruise of the non veteran Sherman and the M20. Like, again, you could probably get that to Veterans 1, which would, you know, benefit it because, again, raiding it with two Shermans could be quite powerful, at least quite handy. And we got a third 76 for Jennifer Ferry. That's going to be rather challenging there for Alsa. Shoots, misses. Another hit that definitely does not miss. Storms was a quick retreat here for Alsa. Shoot, Panther folding up. Half a two vets in the on that one. Third Sherman, halfway ready there. Smoke deployed again. Very consistent about that. There's the South here launching an ambush attack there. S Ferrick tries to launch an ambush flank in a sense. Very nice there. Thumbs up to Ferrick again. Good sense of maneuver here versus Alza, even though it doesn't quite get it pulled off correctly. Third Sherman ready. That's a lot of Shermans. And what is this? Breakthrough! Two thumbs up to Alsa. Again, remember, increased mobility and rate of fire there on Stoops and Panther Force. And they can capture stuff. And there goes Sherman knocked out. He completely caught off guard here by Alsa's armor assault there. His mini Blitzkrieg. Got here on the Sherman, there you go, the other Sherman focused on the other Panther 4 here, crashing infantry, or he's trying to. Stuke with the damage, and you need force to call off the rest of the assault tier as he's taking quite a bit of damage. And Ferrick is also being forced to further block down the assault tier. It is also, as a fun fact, the only ability that uses fuel in the game. I mean, you've got an excess of fuel as the Germans can actually use breakthrough. That's kind of neat as well there. Pants moving in there, near East level here, Ferex Armour there, trying to breach here. Alsace remaining line there are being held in check narrowly here by the uh, valiant efforts of the Panzerwaffe here and some of the infantry sacrifices. We got 248 on the 66. And, oh my, break supply line. Oh my.
Oh my. Oh my. We had to get close to the pocket. Two thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I'd give them two. But, you know, I'd either be a mutant or a serial killer for good. Sadly, a bit of a tricky situation to fully utilize it. But it definitely forces, like, Frank to just get the hell out of there. They have really big explosions here. Sadly, you know, most of forces weren't there. I guess would be the tricky thing about close to the pocket. Like, you know, certain maps are just so small that you can't really get a good, you know, setup for it. But at least you can that way just force a mass retreat. Plus, you can still provide artillery support on, like, you know, frontline sectors anyways. And it's just really neat. But I'll definitely say Mill Road is a very tough map, I think, to get close to the pocket to work on. Very tough. But, you know, two thumbs up for even trying. It is easily one of my favorite abilities in the entire game. Fixing the Panda 4 there in the ace level. Panda 4 is in the ace level. Could actually go for another breakthrough. Oh, Glenn's the met with a Sherman. I'm absolutely eviscerated. Fairy Key could actually try and push for a close to the pocket assault himself. In fact, that would mean he'd almost gotten the. Full bingo. In fact, Alsa has gotten full bingo with this combo and breakthrough. Full encirclement bingo, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, in a 1v1 match. Now, that's something you do not see every day. Every year, even. Shaman close to it's one that Panther for flying away there. Near ace level on it. So close. Shaman force there. We got. Heavy mortar bombs being utilized now, but the mortar half tech halfway to the ace level on that one. Sherman, and name 20 by the way is still alive. Stoop racing forward, see, and there we go, another breakthrough. It's another Blitzkrieg. Going straight forward here, Stoop. Gaining match with one pound for the in there goes Sherman Kaput. Ferret is completely blindsided here by this Blitzkrieg, this assault. And he's actually combining Blitzkrieg with Breakthrough for an absolutely just zooming Panzer fall. He is charging in Bazooka teams a knock out the Stug. A tragic loss for Germany. But the Panzer Force keep it up here. Sherman Kaput almost got the M20 ambulance. Blocking the way. Smashed apart. Panzer fall down. But in the end, one Panzer fall escapes here. A daring armored assault here that certainly broke the back of Farrakh. He has lost all of his vehicles, all of his armor. He still has infantry. In fact, he's gone for a captain. But he definitely took some losses there. 31 kills on that ace panda for Southern points being seized here. He could consider calling some more infantry right now. Pan's going to just want to think be a good addition here as well. Or maybe more stormtroopers. Meanwhile, we got Ferry there launching a vengeance assault here to achieve vengeance for the fallen. Gets the ace pants for the tragic loss of the German army, but a glorious victory for America and the American peoples. North Italy is the point here. Fifth color rushing forwards. Another 7 6 one shot for Ferrick. Also, I may have to go for Stug here. No munitions there for. Oh, it does have missions, just not in territory. No combined arms there. Could I maybe use combined arms to like, try and help break off that assault there? As again, it boosts infantry and armor. It is quite a powerful ability as well there. But similar to Breakthrough, really does not see a lot of usage. Ooh, that was a nice rifle grenade there. And there you go, rushing forward, see? I also relying on speed. And Deutschland. Fuel cash here for Alza. Can soon go for Stug. Meanwhile, Ferg is mobilizing for another assault. We've got machine guns ready in the ambush. We've got fifth guard taking south of the set. Also, I imagine set up an ambush. Charging in there, thinking the coast is clear. But it is not. And there you go. Meet met there with heavy 45, which quickly cuts down two of them before they can even react. Storm something south of there, shambling forwards. We've got 221s and 86. Fifth covers the Sherman. North third point being seized with the Grenadier. Anti-tank gun ready. 
Pani is holding up. Man, that mine just ended up doing nothing, didn't it? Imagine if you laid down some mines here, you know, that Blitzkrieg is all could completely silent was there for hours. Um, just, Fred just laid down that one mine, that was it. Such a shame. Panther 4 there for hours, no Sturmgeschutz. I mean, that works so obviously. Smoke being deployed by the Sherman since he's lost all other sources of smoke, but again, he remains faithful to using smoke to support his attacks and movements. Thumbs up. That is dedication. And tactically sensible dedication at that. Panther 4 halfway done. Gonna just flanking in there. Good shot there. There we go again. Met with the MD42. The smoke has left it. He forgot. And he's now getting his men sawn to bits here. We got combined arms finally. But the timing is just a bit off here for Ferret. Just a bit off. I like the attempt, but he's just too little too late here. And with that, Ferret surrenders. A loss here for America. Freedom of democracy. A victory for the German army. A victory for the Blitzkrieg. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. I learned something from it. Hope it gave you the news. Perhaps maybe you in circumvent. As again, I do think it is a fun commander, though it definitely requires a bit more effort than other commanders. So I understand why it's not popular, but it is definitely fun. And I do think, again, if you know how to handle it, it can be quite good. Particularly because Breakthrough, I think, is a very overlooked ability. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. And if you did subscribe, like, share, comment. Of course, consider donating or pledging on Patreon to support the war effort. This is Imperial Link Cheers. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.